Have you heard about the camel? People are freaking out about the camel in Pakistan. Uh, let's take a look at the camel, and then we'll talk about the camel. This is a, uh, that's not a real camel. Don't worry about that. That's not some sort of Star Wars camel. Uh, this is a sculpture of a camel that uh, is going to cost the US State Department $400,000 to put at our American embassy being built in Islamabad, Pakistan. And it is causing an uproar. Um, so let's, well, let's first go to uh, the State Department's official document explaining why uh, this camel is worth $400,000. This artist's product is uniquely qualified. Public art which will be presented in the new embassy should reflect the values of a predominantly Islamist country. That's according to the State Department. Okay, that sounds fine to me. And just as a little side note, uh, also in the Bible and in the Quran, uh, they both use the metaphor of a camel passing through the eye of a needle. So there's some religious uh, background there. They're not just randomly picking something. Um, but you know what? The 400,000 seems like a lot. Apparently we have some economic problems here. And uh, Representative Jason Chaffetz, he's not happy about this. The American people have a right to know that their tax dollars are being spent responsibly, especially for art that the vast majority of US citizens will never have the opportunity to view. And basically there's been a whole big Twitter firestorm as there is about everything. $400,000 for a camel. Uh, Maz, you're Persian, so you know a bit about this type, <laughs> yes. this area of yes. the world, my, so take my, it away. Well, first of all, it's kind of racist, I think, to have a <laughs> camel art piece in Pakistan. It's like, Too oh, much. they'll like, you know, what are you going to go to Africa and put a, a watermelon in there? I mean, what are, you, what are we doing here, people, State Department? That's number one. And uh, secondly, um, yeah, that's a lot of money. I should have I gotten into art. Yeah. There's a camel. Why you doing stand up? What do you think? Yeah. You know, I, I I host a lot of art events, and I don't know if you guys as, as comics got you know would host uh, 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 any art events, and and the money that they spend on some of these things, and I'm just sitting there, and obviously because you sit there and you go, I could have done that. Yeah. That, yeah. It's just it's just paint on a canvas. Yeah. And, but somehow this person became hot, and that's how much it's worth. And worth, and I'm sure when people watch me do stand up a lot of times, they go, I can do that. <laughs> Who paid for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, the key, yeah. the key, of course, is to cut your ear off, and then your art value yeah. goes way up. Aaron, I know you're a, uh, you don't like to spend the money, am I right? You like, you're a strict conservative when it comes to Americans spending money. Oh, I just, I completely, sure. made, I completely yes. made that up. But do you yes. think four hundred thousand dollars is too much for this type of thing? Well, you know, it's a camel. I, I just thought, like, you know, Americans, we pride ourselves on knockoffs. Like, I feel like you could give me, like, 10 grand, I could build you a camel. Yeah. It's ridiculous, $400,000. Like, if you take the whole needle out of it, it's just like a stupid ceramic camel. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, how much is a real camel? I mean, that's right. got to be. <laughs> that's funny. We should have just had a pen camel. with real camels. You just get a, you get, you just have a few camels when you arrive at the embassy in Pakistan, and then that's when you that's really like would go, bucks. oh, I'm in Pakistan. Yeah. Camels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it's like Egypt. A, Isn't, where, the well, only thing is, like, is, it a, a is it a Trojan camel? Are we going to hide, like, CIA, CIA? Oh. spies oh. inside the camel? Mm. Then late at night, we're going to saw through it and be like, we're going to get the bad guys. Pa, pa, pa. Aaron, I think that's what it is. That, maybe that's it. why that they're paying the might, money. Cause that might be it. Because then they go, be like, hey, Mr. General uh, Musharraf of yeah. Pakistan. Is he back? Yeah. Why is he well, back? No, he's, not, but he, he's on trial. <laughs> but they yeah. go, hey, General yeah. so-and-so, hey, why don't you take this camel home for a week? Yeah, and he's like, oh, of course, I would do it. And they go through it. <laughs> um, and then we'll get their secrets. That's what it is. Yeah, it might be a Trojan camel. I the only thing I could think of that it was four hundred thousand dollars. And then my, of course, my second thought was I obviously immediately have to be a sculptor tomorrow yeah. morning. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Um, I knew we could bring this to the NSA somehow. Yeah. Um, is this one of these things though, where the government is always spending a shitload of money on everything, every embassy, everywhere? So I don't even think this has anything to do with Pakistan and the camel. Like they're doing this all the time. So should we ever get upset about this, or sh is this exactly what we should get? upset about because we're just pissing money away everywhere. As long as we don't have to mention Benghazi, uh, <laughs> then I think we're fine. Maybe they're trying to be like, oh, well, Hillary's going to run. How do we get out of the Benghazi? Let's do $400,000 on the Campbell and another end. Well, they yeah. said, I, I read the article, they said they have, they have some sort of budget set aside for yeah. art. I didn't know. I didn't know. That's kind of cool. Yeah. No textbooks. Yeah. No textbooks. Yeah. Well, and also it said, 
uh, the four hundred thousand dollar price tag is actually a, a very reduced price for this sculpture. I'm like, yeah. it's a camel. Yeah, which I really find that hard to believe that anyone gave the U.S. government a reduced yeah. price on yeah. any. Has the U.S. government ever bought anything at a reduced price? Yeah. Well, no, they do. I mean, I, 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 what this guy is saying is well, that well, that's what that's what blows your mind. You're like, yeah. wait, some some a hole so, paid <laughs> even more for the camel? Right. But they're like, yeah, we got a better. And you know, they <laughs> came up with the whole needle metaphor. Obviously, you know what I mean. Like they're like, all right, well, the camels well, to a camel, but if we stick a needle and then you know bring it from the Bible and the correct like I just can't like that sculpture Should must we be like this what is the greatest needle, day. What the needle means, I have it written right here. Right. So it's the it's the camel contemplating needle, uh, which is uh, it, so the camel's made of fiberglass, and it's a play on the New Testament phrase about the difficulty that the wealthy have entering heaven. Of course, the wealthy are the only ones that can afford a four hundred thousand dollar camel. So but I don't again, know if that's lost. The artist, on the artist wasn't thinking about this when he like busted out a camel. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like we then we were like, all right, let's get the needle and make this work. Like he was just like, I'm gonna make a camel. No, but it's also funny what you just said. Is it's true? It's like the, it's this it's this metaphor of like you know the poor shall inherit the earth, but only the rich can actually buy the afford. camel to actually be like, isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. Look at the metaphor yeah. that we can afford yeah. that you guys never, can't. You'll never be able to afford this camel. Um, is this a really good argument, though, seriously, for, for lowering taxes? Because we just put endless tax money into everything, and then they just piss it away. So is this, could this be something, I could see the Republicans, first off, because it's Pakistan, that scares people, but then yeah. also them saying, well, see, we're, they're pissing your money away. And I think this is the type of thing that people might be like, yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. Well, the question becomes again: What is it like if they've got a real budget set aside for? If, if it were like a thing where, like you know, you guys know, like colleges were sometimes say we have to hire performers yeah. because we have this, this money set aside, and yeah. we don't use it, we lose it. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's if it's that situation where the guy's like, I have to spend four hundred thousand. What can we find? He's like, <laughs> we got a camel, and he's like, oh, let's get the camel. He doesn't <laughs> care. He doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. So if it's that situation, then, then, then maybe we got to go and go, well, why are we putting such a big budget on art at the embassy in Pakistan? Although you do want to make the embassy look nice. Can't yeah. just be pictures of presidents and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know.